Welcome back to Ad Art. Now, today's Ad Art was a request from my son. He asked me to draw one of nature's strangest animals, the duck-billed platypus. So let's make a start and learn all about it. First, we'll draw its eye. And put in a pupil. Next, this curved bill that gives it its name. Just bring the end up and round, and this line in front. And we'll bring that up into a smile. Carry that round like a cheek, and underneath. Stop that there. Okay, if we continue that line, and put in two nostrils, and a second eye. eyebrows I'll talk about those later but they help when the duckbill platypus is swimming in a stream let's bring that head round if I am going a bit fast remember you can always pause the video catch up and hit play again let's put the back in here front leg. Now duckbill platypuses are actually mammals and it's strange because they are one of only two mammals that lays eggs and they have these amazing um, feet that help them when they're swimming with retractable webbing. feet there. And when scientists first saw the duckbill platypus they thought it was a hoax because it has a bill and feet like a duck, a body like an otter and a tail like a beaver. But they're quite real and quite remarkable. Put this back leg in. And you'll find duckbill platypuses in Eastern Australia and Tasmania and they like to live near small rivers and streams. And strangely they actually walk like a lizard. They have a similar gait to a lizard when they waddle along. tail, like a beaver's tail, at the back here. This helps them to row their way through the water when they're looking for something to eat. They like to eat insects and shellfish from the bottom of the streams and rivers. Let's put in some of this fur detail. And they use that amazing bill at the front to scoop them up from the bottom. So they'll swim along the bottom and almost dig them up from the, uh, the bottom of the riverbed. Let's put the stream in here with some reeds reaching in. With these curving towards the water. And amazingly, when they do go swimming, they actually have these folds of skin that cover over their eyes 
and they close up their nostrils and their ears. So they have no senses to help them that we would have, but they actually have a sixth sense, one that we don't have. And this allows them to see electrical pulses from the shellfish and from the um, insects and it helps them to locate in as they swim along quite blindly in the rivers. Put this last read in there. We'll put the bank. Leaning down to the water's edge here. The light breaking the surface and these reeds just dipping in. Okay, let's have a tropical plant reaching in on this other side. And the duckbill platypus is one of only two mammals that lays eggs. They still feed their young on milk like other mammals. And it's only them and the echidna that actually lay eggs. Let's put some vegetation in the background here. This stretching up towards the light. They use these sort of plants and twigs to build their nest. But this one we're drawing today is a male. And there is uh, something special about the male, which I'll show you at the end. We can take some time putting these leaves in, these reeds, just stretching them up and choosing how they curve. Now we can start interweaving leaves behind. So you just continue the line another one going behind that one now and it's quite a good technique this if you're ever drawing hair so you can really sit the strands in front behind it gives a real sense of depth Just quickly put in these last few leaves. A few more behind. I think that's looking good. Okay, let's start putting in some gravel here because apparently the duckbill platypus doesn't have any teeth and it uses this gravel to help it digest its food but it doesn't have a stomach either because obviously eating gravel would be really bad for your stomach okay as this is a male let's put in one last detail they might look cute but you wouldn't want to pick one up as they have this venomous spur at the back of their leg that they can deliver a toxic sting which again there's something else amazing about this creature. But there we have it. There is our duck-billed platypus. I hope you've enjoyed drawing along with that one today. 
do remember to check out my other videos and to click the subscribe button. When you do, you'll be the first to know when I've uploaded a new video. Also, if you have enjoyed this video today, please give me a thumbs up like. It really helps my channel grow and will mean more people get to see ad art. And finally, if you know someone who loves drawing and would like this or one of my other videos, please share ad art with them. But that's it for today, so I'll see you next time on Ad Art. Bye for now.